committed to giving them an opportunity to know Jesus Christ. And letting you see that and see that declaration and you partner with them in that process as well. And so we don't do uh, child or infant baptisms here at LifePoint. Uh, different reasons why we don't do that. But this is, this is a way of us saying that uh, these children will make a decision at some point in their life whether or not they're going to follow Jesus Christ. And what we want to do is we want to give them every opportunity to make that decision and have the information to do that. And so we're encouraging the parents to do that. And the parents are obviously asking you to be a part of that whole process with them as they declare that they're going to do that today. So I tend to like to ask some questions when we do this. And uh, so we're going to ask just a few questions. The parents, you can just answer as you, uh, in unison, if you would. But the Bible makes it clear that marriage is an important uh, part of your relationship, obviously with one another, but as you raise your children as well. And so will you all make marriage the commitment that God has called it to be, the biblical commitment that God has, has called it to be as you raise your children? And then it's also important that the church and the family come together as we raise children. Uh, God has given us both those to help us in that process. And so uh, will you pledge or do you promise that as long as LifePoint is your church family, or if you end up moving to another location and another church becomes your church family, that you will do all your, you can to remain connected to the church and give your children an opportunity to learn through the church and through the home. And then, to the very best of your ability, obviously, do you promise to do everything that you can in your power uh, to raise your child to know Jesus Christ, to pray for him or her, and to give them every opportunity to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Yes. yes. Okay. And then, LifePoint Church family, to the best of your ability as well, uh, do you pledge to partner with these families to pray for them as you have opportunities and to do all that you can to encourage their children as they grow up in the Lord? Yes. yes. Amen. Okay. I normally hold the children... But I, I would not be able to do that this morning. And so I'm just going to pray for them uh, while I stand here. So let's pray together for each one of these children. Father, we do want to pray today for Caleb and for Madeline and for Ayla. We ask, Lord God, that you would be with their parents as they come together uh, to raise these children. And we pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit would be a part of that in a, in a powerful and mighty way. We pray that as a church family, Lord... Obviously, we're not going to know the day-to-day -day activities of these families, nor are we probably going to remember at some point uh, who some of these folks are in these families. But God, we want to partner with them uh, as they raise their children. So help us as a church family to be the type of place where children can grow up and know the Lord and have an opportunity to make those decisions. We pray for the parents, Lord, for your special blessing upon them and their marriages. We pray for patience and perseverance for them, God, that you would go before them. And then for each one of these children, Lord God, we pray that they would be a, a young man or young women who know the Lord Jesus Christ, who live faithfully for you, Lord God, who grow up in the faith, who remain in the faith, Lord God, and one day who will rejoice with us in eternity. So I pray your blessing upon each one of these families, Lord. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, who is Lord over all. Amen. 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 This morning we're going to learn a new song. It's not real new, but it's new to me. It's called Holy. It declares who our God is. God Almighty, who was and is to come. God of glory. And He is worthy. And He is just and He is merciful. So we want to make that declaration this morning together. Would you stand? 